why my Lamborghini Huracan has been rejected. Hi guys and welcome back and welcome to another video where you join me, well it looks like I'm in the middle of nowhere but I'm not, I have just arrived at Goodwood Motor Circuit because I am here on what is going to be an epic day ahead with some amazing cars on the circuit. I've kindly been invited down here by DH Rothko and I'm going to show you around some of the cars that they have for sale but also the car which I'm going to be going around in. You never know with some of these days you just might end up going in something you didn't expect to but we're going to have a lot of fun so let's have a walk around see what is here and get this day underway. I keep doing that it keeps rhyming I don't actually mean to do it. Oh look first one Audi R8 V10 Plus that's sick, like a purple colour. We also have Turbo S, very nice. Simon's it. Thank you very much. Do you have, you've got a wide range of stock? We're gonna go and have a look at it as well. Good, good. We've got uh, Darren Turner about to go out in the GT4 Aston. Proper racing driver. Proper racing driver. <laughs> like your good self. I am, but, and you. Yeah, but he's a little bit, well, he's still active. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. We're on, we're on. Good morning. How are you? What are you doing here? Mate, you've invited me. This is sick. Yeah, it is sick. Look, a proper racing car. Yeah. You're not driving it. No, I will do though. It's not a proper racing driver. No, I am. You would see which way I went in that. <laughs> I did invite him down here today because it's a very exclusive track day and we couldn't resist but to take a car out. On a day like this, we have no choice. It's not raining. It's not raining. Beautiful day. But this is a very scary circuit in terms of like, it is very fast. And I'm going to take you around and show you guys exactly what it is all about, um, but it's quick. Good. But we're gonna have a lot of fun. Mate, they are chaos. Yeah. That, XJ220. Okay, let's introduce what Tony is driving. You've seen it before. You might not have seen it before, but we're gonna show it. Go <laughs> is it shut, mate? It is now. Okay, the pink pig. Pig's here. Again. Perfect. The perfect. Is that good for this track? Perfect for this track, mate. Okay. Really, really is, because it's such a fast and flowing circuit, and this, I feel, is. It's just a good track car. You prefer the purple Venti to this though, don't you? Um, I think so, yeah. But we're gonna we're gonna work that out as this uh, video goes along. I actually wanted to bring my own car down, but I'm gonna explain a little bit later why why I didn't this a little bit. You annoying. know what we need to do one day? What? We need to have the purple Manti and this out together. And I just do a head-to-head. -head. And you do a head-to-head. -head. Yeah, that would actually be fun. Should we see what's next to your car? Yes, this, please. This is a a bowler. That's bowler. Bowler and chaos. So, I'd have one of these. Mate, they are mental. This is a road legal car as well. I know, look at the seats in it as well. That is the definition of chaos, mate. Yeah. That is very cool. Look at, the look at the silences on the back as well. Silences are massive on the back. Also, we have a Radical. These are fast. They're very fast. We know about these, don't we? They are seriously quick. And round here, that is going to be very quick indeed. You can see all the belts and stuff. I wouldn't want to be a passenger of you in that. You would not see me sit next to you in that. Yeah, but I'm quite safe, mate. You must feel safe in me. Oh. Safe in that? Yeah, I'm I'm I say I'm safe in my bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are coming to basically see some of the cars which they have on display before we go on the circuit. So I want to show you this is probably the coolest thing here today. Colin McRae's original rally car. Stunning to look at. Can you believe that he raced this car and it's still in one piece which is even better obviously it's a very good driver but have a look in here how stripped out it is and all the sort of buttons that you have in here oh, that i believe that this is the handbrake here this is the gear shift so you pull it up to go up a gear push it away to go down a gear because obviously in rallying the handbrake is the most important thing um, and obviously you have all your start buttons and your pressures and front brake biases this raced at le mans Rothman's Porsche, very iconic. It looks amazing and just a seriously rare car. Uh, driven by Jochen Mass, who is like a Le Mans legend. Have a look in there. You would be doing around 220 miles an hour down the Moulton Street in that. Your feet would be right at the front there. So if anything goes wrong, 
your legs are gone. Put it that way. Literally. 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 Really? Seriously. Are you looking forward to this? Are you looking forward to going around here? Yes, mate. You've done a lot of track days, basically mainly at Goodwood. Uh, Silverstone. So this is going to be a little bit different. Yeah. Mate, this track is so fast. There's no room for error. Good. But that's fine. This is what we like. You don't have a better guy sitting next to you than me. I will, as a teacher, you're very good. <laughs> this circuit especially, you need to treat it with respect. Yeah. Only like five cars on the track each time. Yeah, yeah. So we just have to wait and then they send you on. So you're gonna have a lot of free air. Yeah, yeah. But I'm gonna be explaining and telling you about the lines, etc. And uh, yeah, it's quick. <laughs> Tell you a story. Yes, please, because I've noticed like it's changed. I just got a bit of spray in it and it just went the wrong colour. So you're spraying your head now, not your cars. <laughs> <laughs> so I've just been out on the circuit with Tony, and uh, I wasn't actually filming at that point because it's just so fast, and I wanted to just slowly build him up as it went along, and I didn't really want cameras on at that point because yeah. Goodwood, you make one error, and uh, honestly, it's just all gone totally wrong. You have tarmac and then you have a wall. But he did well. But what I want to talk to you about is why I'm not in my Lamborghini Huracan and why my Lamborghini Huracan has been rejected. I did tell you guys that I did want to do a track day in this car and I really have wanted to do that, but I haven't been allowed to because this track has a 105 noise decibel limit and my Huracan is way too loud. So my problem is 
right here. I cannot take that car currently in its current form on any track day because of the aftermarket exhaust which it has on it. You might think to yourself, well go around in Strada which is the quieter mode. No, you also cannot do that because there's probably three or four points on a circuit like Goodwood where it would pick up um, how loud it really is. And at that point when you've sort of got your foot down in Strada, it's, the exhaust still kicks in and it's still pretty loud. So I've thought of every single way to get my, my car on a track at the moment. And the only way I can do that is taking my exhaust off. And currently I don't wanna do that because I really do like it. So I need to work out how I'm gonna do that. So yeah, so here it got rejected and other circuits as well around the country it's had exactly the same thing. Um, so it's not really ideal. Currently on the pit wall, Tony has gone out on his own and I'm, oh, he's here, he hasn't gone out. He's waiting at the end of the pit lane. I've, I've sat next to him, I've taught him sort of little pointers here and there and he needs to put it into practice. Um, so he doesn't want me sat next to him all day long. Go on lads. Yes. That's my mate, that's Nick. Go on, Tone! It's the speed difference from a racing car to a road car is like another level. Like that Aston will have slick tyres and the the rate of knots it, it caught him was like, it'd be doing, it'd, honestly, it'd be doing like 20 seconds a lap quicker. So I'm now back and Look what is here, the car which I couldn't take today, unfortunately. But what an amazing day it was with Tony to go around in his GT3 RS. Goodwood is one scary place. You would have seen from the footage, it is just so fast. The high speed corners and everything else. And one room for error is not good. So you're probably wondering, why did you not film Tony in car? We did film a bit, but when I had the cameras off, I was really just trying to focus him on the job in hand. Because like I mentioned, one error there, and you have a written off Porsche, and that wouldn't be ideal and such a shame that I couldn't take my Lamborghini on the circuit. I don't really know what to do about this one. It's just too loud. I've phoned up every single circuit pretty much in England and they all have this 105 decibel noise limit. So if you have any ideas what to do, do let me know. There's gonna be a lot more content with this car and it's going to be changing massively with the stuff which is on its way. If you haven't seen last videos, I've decided that I'm gonna mod my Hurricane and you wait and see this is gonna be one beast. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Leave those comments down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all very soon.